It's lunchtime here at Fanshawe College. The future leaders of the world are lining up at cafeterias everywhere, trying to grab some food before class. The current generation of students will have a major role to play in the future of the environmental world. How these students will consume, and what they will consume, as well as how they will replenish the resources we already have, will be very important to the future of the environment. Waste diversion is a wonderful act that everyone can do to help the environment. So how is this important environmental generation doing at the basic environmental act of recycling? So I'm looking at your lunch here today. Did you know that we have a call? Sarah Vandevoren is Fanshawe's environmental program coordinator. Okay. See the, the waste station, the really short green one? That's our compost bin. So in that, you can put like any leftover food, you can put your Tim Hortons coffee cup. Most of her lunches are taken up by going to cafeterias across campus and informing people of what can be diverted from the garbage. To be promoting the kinds of programs that we have on campus and ways that staff and students can be diverting their waste. Um, the biggest thing I'm trying to push right now is the compost and coffee cup programs because over half of the waste that we generate and 5% of the waste that we generate are compost and coffee cups respectively. So, what's our diversion rate on campus? Uh, well, Fanshawe College's diversion rate is about 61% right now. The legal requirement is to achieve a 60. The diversion rate is used to find out how much of the things we consume get properly diverted from the garbage. Whether it's through compost or recycling, this is how you measure recycling efficiency. The coordinator of waste diversion programs at the City of London, Ann Boyd, speaks of the city's own rate. Um, we're at about 42% right now. Um, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure where we're going to be in the next couple of years. And students aren't helping to improve that number. Generally, they, they tend not to be very compliant in terms of following the guidelines for even setting out waste, uh, recyclables, and yard materials. It seems as if the future of environmental impact might be making too much of an impact. I'm Marty Thompson.